What I want to talk about today is the machinations of a limited thinker. You see, most of us come through, uh, scientists, uh, educated professors, all the way down to common thinkers like us, you see, and we ask ourselves questions. We ask other people questions. We ask the universe questions. Why are we here? Why did this happen? Who is controlling this? Who is in power? What should I do next? Existential questions, you see. And what we don't realize, those of us who do ask those questions, what we don't realize is that by asking that question, you are fundamentally changing the answer to the question whose answer you've been searching for this entire time. See, what you've done is change the context in which your original question has been asked, and in their, their so doing, changing the answer. And now you might say, Alan, well, you're talking in circles, and I might agree with you. However, I might put it this way. It's as if you go into a grocery store and you have an idea of what you want. Now the clerk, a laborer who comes and asks you, you know, what are you looking for, comes over and and does just that. And you tell him, I'm looking for an apple. And the man says, or the woman says, well, uh, what is an apple? Let's say in this instance, uh, you don't have the answer you're looking for from from this person who is working at this grocery store. And he says, again, he says, I don't know what that is. I don't know what an apple is. And you say, well, it's a uh, red and it's a uh, Uh, generally a circle so I'm looking for something that is a red circle and he says okay I know just the thing that you might be looking for and you say well grand please show it to me and you're all very happy to go on your way and find this red circle but when he brings you to the aisle and he points out what you're looking for and he says it with a certain degree of confidence you find yourself looking at what this man is pointing at, old woman, and it's a red bouncy ball. And you've discovered all of a sudden that you are in a toy store and not in a grocery store. In other words, the question that you've asked doesn't make sense anymore in this new environment. And by asking that question, you've changed that very environment. And once you realize that this is the nature of things, You've changed altogether the answer as well as the question.